Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back with my weekly grocery haul and a meal plan. I am feeling a bit under the weather, which is why I'm not going to show myself on camera today. I'm a bit run down. I've done about 2,500 miles cumulatively over the past two weeks visiting family up north for the holidays. And so I am completely wiped and definitely not um, good for appearances right now. But I did go to all these. I had to stock up coming home to a house completely empty of all types of produce and of our regular staples. So I quickly went out and went grocery shopping. I spent $131.68, so I definitely wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, once I share with you what we picked up at the store, then we'll get into the meal plan. So for starters, I picked up the specialty European chocolate truffles. This is one of their specialty items for the month. It was on their end cap, and it's my best friend's birthday next month, and I know that he will love these, so I picked these up for him. And then I got the split top wheat bread for me and the kiddos. Uh, we don't mind this bread at all, and this bread was on sale for 92 cents, so that even beats my scores at the Dollar Tree. And then my husband, he prefers the classic white bread, and this was on sale for 52 cents. So I got two loaves of bread for under $1.50. You cannot beat that. And then I picked up some snacks for the kiddos. We really, really love their organic popcorn. Like, I can't say it enough. I've mentioned it in every one of my recent All These Hauls since we've discovered it because it's so delicious. So this time we got the Simply Nature Organic White Cheddar Popcorn. I have not seen this often. It's just been fairly recently, and we really do like this one as well. It's 62 calories per cup. It's tastes very much like smart food but less artificial if that makes any sense and you can tell the kids loved it so much they've already broken into it and then this is the simply nature organic lightly salted popcorn this one's only 37 calories per cup and when i tell you that it is a fantastic bag of popcorn i can't even say more about it because it's so delicious uh, I picked up a whole chicken. Uh, this was on sale for 95 cents a pound, which I think is a great deal. So it's almost eight pounds, and I paid $7.41 for it, which I will get three meals out of this chicken. We'll roast the chicken one night, and then maybe the next day for either dinner or lunches, I'll pick it apart and do chicken salad, and then I'll boil the carcass and whatever's left and make chicken soup. So I love getting good scores like this because I stretch it really far. They had some little foliage on their end cap. I looked, it doesn't say the names on the bottom, it just says assorted foliage, but they were on sale for $1.49, and this is the season for me to start stocking up on things I'm going to slowly kill throughout the year. So I picked up this little, like, fern one, and then I picked up this, like, waxy looking one, and these will both go in my bathroom. I picked up a bag of the organic yellow potatoes. I picked up a um, bag of the Simply Nature Organic Multigrain Tortilla Chips. I love these. These ones are made with like brown rice and flax and aramith, and they're really just so delicious for a chip. Uh, so I picked up these, and then I picked up the um, Simply Nature. This is the yellow, yellow corn tortilla chips, and we'll use these for nacho night this week. I picked Maya up her Organic White Cheddar Puffs. Um, these are like Pirate's Booty. I think I kind of like Trader Joe's ones just a teeny bit better, but when we don't go there as often, we go to all these more often. These are a great substitute until we can get to Trader Joe's. I picked up this Asian chopped salad kit. This will be for me for a lunch for two days. It is green cabbage, romaine, lettuce, kale, red cabbage, carrots, and green onion with wonton strips, sliced almonds, and sesame dressing. This is probably my favorite chopped salad of all time, so I always get this one for myself and no one else eats it, so it's perfect just for me. I picked up two of the organic mac and cheese. This is very similar to the Kraft. And then I picked up two of the shells and white cheddar, which is like the Annie's. I picked up the box of the light roast Guatemalan, which for light roast, this is pretty dark. So I actually like that because their dark is like mud, which is good for me. I don't mind it, but not so much my husband. So I grabbed that one. I got the black cherry and plum juice. This one's not organic, but it's non-GMO, so that's fine with me. And the kids love that. It's definitely a switch off of the standard apple and orange. 
Got two separate broths. Got a organic free range chicken and then the organic beef broth. Perfectly priced and very delicious. Constantly only gonna get my broths from all these from now on. Uh, saw this and thought of you, Vanessa, so I picked it up. This is the Journey to India Tiki Marsala Simmer Sauce. So we're gonna have some Indian food uh, next week. Got a bag of organic red potatoes. Got a package of three romaine hearts. Got these um, grape tomatoes. They look really yummy. I got a bag of Honeycrisp apples. A package of basil. Got a bunch of organic bananas. And now I've mentioned a bunch of times about their apple sauces. Now I did currently discover them at Walmart. They have their line for 39 cents cheaper for $1.50 a box. These are $1.89, but they don't have them often and I'm just recently discovering them and they're not in every flavor, but it doesn't even matter because my kids go through these so often. There's only four packages in here and my kids each have one each day. So in two days, these are gone. So it takes, and I could easily go through three plus in a week. So having a bunch of these like this on hand is never an issue. But this time I saw one that's also a veggie blend. So I got one that's apple and butternut squash. And then this one is apple and carrot. So I'm hoping they'll they'll like those, just a way to get some extra veggies in. And then we got our regulars, the apple cinnamon, the apple peach, there's an apple banana back there, and then the apple multi-fruit. But they're perfect size pouches, and they're really good, the kids love them. Uh, got some more fruit, got the organic blueberries, organic blackberries, and the organic raspberries. Got a bunch of the mini peppers for recipes. Got a thing of the three zucchinis for some zoodles and for sauteing veggies. Got a bag of halos. Got my Red Bull. I've been missing this. Absolutely love it. Best deal around. $2.69 for four cans. Got a thing of their cinnamon roll creamer that just looked good to me. These just screamed me the almond cranberry coconut bar. So I picked those up for myself along with the trail mix. This is the peanuts, cranberries, and almonds. Very much my kind of thing and perfect for snacking when I'm on the go with the kiddos. Got our tomato basil sauce. Jake loves this. We use this to make him pizzas for lunches. We're doing enchiladas this week. So I got this red chile enchilada sauce. I got two of these packages. The kids are really not feeling well. I took them to the doctor today who has ear infections, who has sinus infections. So I got this antioxidant power juice, kind of like a superfood juice. It's got pomegranate, tart cherry, red grape, purple carrot, cranberry, and blueberry. So I'm hoping that that'll help my kiddos a little bit. I got a thing of four ears of corn. The doctor said that cough syrup is not good for littles, but he recommends every four hours a teaspoon of honey. So I got this wildflower honey for them. Got the organic raspberry apple splash juice boxes for the kids. They love these. Hands down the best spaghetti around. This is their Simply Nature organic spaghetti, so I got that. I got the Friendly Farms Organic 2% Milk just to hold me over until my Walmart grocery pickup. I am going to do Walmart's grocery pickup for the rest of my things that I am missing that are my Walmart staples. So especially when I'm gone for a couple of weeks, I feel like when I come back, it's like moving into a new house. I need to like restock on everything. So I'll be sharing my Walmart grocery pickup later on in the week. Uh, I got a thing of the Nature's Nectar Organic Orange Juice. And then again, I picked up another um, super fruit spread. Um, this is the cherries, blueberries, and pomegranate. Again, something else I thought that was like full of antioxidants that would be good for the kiddos right now, not feeling well. Got cilantro for our taco night. Got a thing of the organic Anju uh, pears. Absolutely love those. Got a thing of the broccoli, um, just fresh head of broccoli for a side dish. 
got a bag of onions, and then I picked up two more of these pie crusts. Now, if you guys missed my man freezer meal video, I'll put a card up top and in the description box, but I made these homemade pot pies, which is probably some of the best pot pie I, I've ever made. Well, I've never made pot pie, so let's just say it's the best recipe I've ever made. And I used these pie crusts. They cooked up very well, perfectly flaky. They were so good, and my mouth has been salivating for them. So I will be making those again in the upcoming weeks. And then now I will share with you my meal plan. Look, you guys, this is the brand new meal planner that you'll be seeing for the rest of 2018. This is my new one. I will be doing uh, a review on this. I started it and then I edited it and I decided not to keep that particular one because I wanted to be home. I wanted to use the new planner. It's a little bit different than the old one. I wanted to be able to come home and use the inventory tab to start inventorying my freezer and things like that. I kind of wanted to start the year off right instead of just reviewing the book and showing it to you guys. So sometime this week for sure, keep your eye out because it'll be a review on the this particular meal planner as well as the review on the matching day planner and if you guys are interested in your own there's always as I always say a review in the description box of my last one as well as a discount code for you to purchase your own all right so here's my meal planner tab and then this is my first page of January and here we are at the weekly menu from January 8th until the 14th so today is my husband's birthday so we're having meatball subs with salad and creme brulee so hopefully he'll like that meatballs is one of the favorite his favorite meals so I'm hoping he loves that and then tomorrow we're going to have baked pork chops with green beans, roasted potatoes, and my mother-in-law jarred me applesauce. Her house is on an apple orchard up north, so they always do some jarring and canning at the end of the year. So she saved me some regular applesauce and cinnamon, so I cannot wait to have this with my pork chops. Uh, on Wednesday, I'm going to do defrost half a pound of bacon, and I'm going to do my cheesy bacon chicken, which is a favorite in this house, and I'm going to film it. You guys have asked me to film that a couple of times when it's put on my menu. I've never gotten a chance to do it, so I will do it this time, and then I'll make that with mashed potatoes and some glazed carrots. On Thursday, we're going to do beef enchiladas and nachos. On Friday, we're going to use whatever leftover like taco stuff that we have to do Mexican pizza. And then we're also going to do barbecue chicken pizza. And then I'm going to make that pasta with the regatta cheese. Now, I just did a what's for dinner video and a bunch of you guys commented and asked for my mom's pasta recipe. <coughs> Excuse me. So... I will share that, but it's so super ridiculously easy that it's not even worth doing a cooking video on because it's like literally just a few simple steps. So I'm going to share that in a vlog on Friday. So if you guys are interested in seeing um, my mom's regatta cheese pasta recipe that I shared in that once for dinner video, just keep an eye out for that vlog that will come up on a Friday. Um, it'll either be Friday night or it will go up on Saturday. I'm not sure yet, but I will be filming it on Friday when I make this and I will include it in that vlog. Um, then Saturday, I'll use the other half of that bacon. We'll do breakfast for dinner. We're going to do eggs and my normal um, double batch of pancakes that we'll use for the rest of the month. And then on Sunday, uh, we're going to do the Trader Joe's orange chicken with fried rice and I'll probably do that fresh head of broccoli uh, I made this meal plan before I bought that and saw that so I'll probably add that and someday in here somewhere I'll be going to Trader Joe's and BJ's I'm just not sure when so I didn't put it in my planner yet but if you're interested in seeing those videos and you're new make sure to tap that subscribe button and hit the bell so you guys don't miss when that uploads and I will see you guys all in my next video thank you guys so much for watching Bye, guys.